Okay, so I've been left on the mic by myself now. We're going to get into losers finals. It's going to be Critical versus Lucrecio. So probably Rob versus Fox. A little bit of a repeat of what we saw earlier, maybe. But, you know, we have come pretty far in the bracket now. Both players are going to be pretty warmed up. Probably made a few adjustments. Could be seeing a much, much closer set than we saw in the first instance. So we are just getting everyone uh, set up and ready at this point. We... I'm wholly expecting to see um, Lucrecio take the Rob pick straight away. Fox. And Critical is going straight for Fox. So we are on pretty much main picks right now. We'll see how this plays out for them both. Okay, so it looks like we got our uh, stage pick. Oh, no, never mind. I spoke too soon. Where are we going? Okay, looks like we're going to Omega Palatine's Temple for Game 1. This is Lucrecio versus Critical in Losers Finals. Winner of this goes on to fight DK Ho. Now we're going to see if Critical has actually made any uh, adjustments from the last set. Looking good so far. And Lou just uh, stalling in the air. Trying to obscure his landing. Crit not falling for it now. Now Crit is going for a lot more up tilts this game, so it's, I think it's personally it's fair. Oh wow, Lucretia actually saves him. Oh dear, Lucretia could have had that stock if he hadn't have shot that laser. That would have been a that would have been a uh, free stock for, Luc for Lucretia. Probably what he needs right now. Down throw, up throw. Yeah, up throw again. Gyro. What is this? Lou, what on earth are you doing? You're just going for anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Responding to the up smash with a down smash. What is going on? There's some craziness going on right now. I just really want to wear... Uh, Show you their faces right now. They're having tons of fun. New friend of Gyro from Fart. Now, I've noticed that between this set and the last one that we played, Crit really isn't doing anything to reflect these gyros. It's kind of either taking them on the shield or they are just hitting him. He's just going to stall, trying to stall by the stage. Not get hit by, uh, by up, I guess by up tilt. Working out quite well for him. Ooh, stop. Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Deflex a gyro with the down B. Up tilt. Not going to kill. Don't you just love not having kill options at stupid high percent? Not going to do it. Still not going to do it. Blue trying to stall off stage. And he's got enough up B left to get back on stage. Oh, uh, misses the misses the back air. Can we get F bro. Still doesn't kill. What is this? It's also Fox not having a kill throw. We just again stalling stall by the ledge. What is going on? <laughs> Hey, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put the camera on them. Look at their faces, They're all over the place. Just basically, Crit, uh, Lou came back on with the jump gal, and uh, Crit just up, Crit just up aired him. I don't know why it's so funny, but it is. I think it's 
spent ages just stalling by the ledge and then just dead. Okay, so now we really need something to uh, something to kill Grit with. You know, you're probably going to see either the Randy up smash or... Oh, no, I bet. There you go. There's game one. It's going to be uh, Lucretio taking game one over Critical. Still got four, around about four more games to go. Oh, we're being, jo we're being joined by the Captain Steel. Take this headset, young Captain Steel. Let me unmute it. Okay, we've got Captain Steel joining me here on the mic. Say hi, Captain Steel. Hi, Captain Steel. Oh, okay, good job. Um, so, situation, situation so far. Shut up, that joke's a classic. Okay, so there we go. They went back to Palutena FD. Yeah, um, again, this is probably going to benefit, I think, Rob more than it's going to benefit Fox, because Fox doesn't have any flat wings and that to kind of track Rob on. I'm, I'm so used to playing melee here, I would actually say that FD isn't a, is not a bad choice for a Fox player, because of the speed and uh, also the power that Fox actually has. Yeah, the, pro the problem is though that Fo Fox has to approach from a lint, from a line, so it's going to be a very tele it's going to be a very telegraph approach, something that Rob can really wall out with these gyros, with these lasers. Rob, Rob could just keep backing off, wait for him to approach, take him out with a, uh, take him out with Eddie. True, but Rob is not exactly what you would call a fast character, which means that uh, Fox could use that speed advantage of his to go through in and out between those projectiles and lay on uh, Smackdown, as we've just seen. Yeah, but he has to keep in mind Rob to keep what? out going, what why, is going on? Yeah, why on earth are they shooting so hard? I think it's, I think, I think they're just, like, over... <laughs> They're overplaying every little hit here. I don't know if you can hear it over our microphones, but they are screaming like... They're screaming like banshees at every little thing. I really just want to put the headsets on them both and just, like, let them scream yeah, into the mic. Yeah, auto commentate. Oh, get it. f off stage. Oh! <laughs> oh, well, hang on. We've got a signal loss. Lou! We've got, we got no, no signal on here. No. no. It's gone. Got, oh, no. There, yeah, it's back. there we go. It's back. It's back. Okay, so, so we just uh, so do we force, undergone some uh, technical difficulties. So do we, we force, now. do we force the player one to lose a stock due to that? No, no, it's technical difficulty. Yeah, uh, fair. Okay, well, so well, we're uh, Rob got off for the jump and got caught by Foxes up here. Now Fox has got rage at 104. That uh, can spell trouble for him. even for a heavy character like Rob. Oh, Unless there you go. By that. Gotta love that vacuum effect on the up smash. We just broke through, through the gyro, through the gyro in the way. Caught Fox out of the up, out of the side B, smacks him with an up smash, he knocked right out of the park. True, but if Fox can get hold of that gyro, he can actually do some work against Rob. That's one of the double edged swords when playing this particular character. His own projectiles can be used against him. It's, it's rather much like Pac Man. Yeah. Not to the same extent, mind, I'll give you that one, but uh, it's still a disadvantage on the character if uh, played incorrectly. Ooh. Ooh, just about missing the edge guard, not getting anything on that one. Using the using the fox uh, fox illusion, there you go. Using the fox illusion to get back to the laser. Uh, Lucretia's doing a really, really good job here of just kind of playing keep away and pushing himself. He's pushing himself into Fox's range while at the same time putting enough extended hitbox in that oh, There we go. Snipe. Back to the snipe. Sniped. So that's 2-0 to Lucretio. Yeah, Lucretio just uh, 360 no-scoped. Uh, really? We're bringing critical. COD memes into this? We are bringing COD memes in. Mom, get my chocolate milk! Have you seen a, have you seen a YouTuber, a YouTuber and streamer called Stone Mountain 64 No. Oh my god, watch him when you get when you get some time. He's hilarious. Hilarious. This is not a plug, by the way. I was saying, yeah, this is not a plug, by the way. This is just something I personally found a bit, uh, a bit funny in my spare time. Okay, so we've now gone to this is Town and City. Okay, so this is game three. So if Lucrecio wins this, he's guaranteed second. This is yeah. a, this is actually pretty good for both Fox and Rob uh, for quite similar reasons. When the stage transforms, the ceiling becomes lower, I believe, which means that Bob's up throw is going to be able to kill a lot sooner, but at the same same time, Fox's up throw to up air combo, if that's still a thing in this game, will be able to kill earlier too. Oh. On top of that, Fox can also use the uh, platforms, as you've just seen. Ooh. 
thing is, what, what he really needs to do is just try and keep Lucrecio pressured. Because when he loses pressure on Lucrecio, Lucrecio is responding with putting out these gyros, putting that wall up, and he's making. Did he just put. <gasps> oh, oh my! Oh my god! Crit! I... Crit goes for the fair footstool! Where was the jump? Kills himself! I think he's tilted, but at the same time, that wouldn't have worked any well, that could have worked, but Rob had more Remember, unlike most characters, Rob has a fuel system with his recovery as opposed to just like a one and done sort of thing. Which means he yeah. had plenty of gas in the tank to recover. Yeah, but even then, you know, at a high enough percent, if it got him low enough, just get the foot to catch him by surprise. Ow. Here you go. This dip. Ooh, I honestly there. thought he was going to get punished for that. Crit I'm... needs to stop going for the gimmicks now. He needs to start by like, doing the proper fundamental stuff. He needs to kill Rob before he reaches about 50%. And needs. <laughs> needs to. And needs to start using Fox's tools a bit better. See, I'm not really sure that going off stage there to try and edge guard Rob was a good idea. He should probably just wait to try and read the recovery. To be quite honest, yeah, when you're going that low to edge guard a Bob, it's a bad idea anyway. As we I mean, with a recovery like yeah, Fox's yeah. anyway, you know, easily exploitable, could have just easily turned into a down air or something like that, take him off stage. And as I say, due to the fuel system, Rob is able to recover and attack at the same time. It's somewhat similarly to, to Peach, when she can, like, glide and, uh, like, do all her, all her aerial stuff. Nice. While, while that's horizontal, Rob's just vertical, which means you can get those stage spikes with that up air. It's nasty when you really get that right. Nasty. Stage. He needs to remember. What? Remember, with these fuel-based recoveries, you need to be like, flat on the ground, getting your gas back. Otherwise, you are just going to run out of it the next time you're in the air. I think the one thing that I'm finding that Crit is having trouble with here is actually just invading Lucrecio's space. Because, I mean, at, at that point when Lucrecio is on the ledge, he wasn't like going into the ledge at all. He was sitting almost mid stage. Just a bit too far away for that to work. Oh, no. Get there over! It is! Oh! Down there. I suppose you. I suppose you could call that a critical hit on Crit. <laughs> and that's going to be uh, Lucrecio advancing on to Grand Finals against DK Ho. We're going to get that on for you as soon as we can.